Hello students, it's your favorite online class, Project Exam Homework Help Tutor here. For those of you who are new to my channel, I'm a US-based academic expert that helps students complete their proctored exams, quizzes, tests, um, entire online courses, essays, discussion posts, homework assignments, research papers, annotated bibliographies, and other academic assessments on their behalf with a guaranteed B minus to A plus grade. Um, so I can help with students in a wide variety of courses, including math, English, um, science, business, um, social sciences, humanities, computer programming. Uh, my full bio and social media links and contact info are in the description below. So please check that out. For this particular video, I'll be helping a student complete their proctored statistics exam um, through Zoom. Okay, so we're gonna do screen share where the student will show me their screen and I'll provide them with the solutions to their statistics exam questions. Okay, so without further ado, here we go. Join the meeting. Hi there. Are you there? Yeah, sorry for the delay. Um, oh, okay. I just have some stuff to attend to. So oh, okay. um, I'm ready to help you with your proctor statistics exam. Okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. All right, then. So let me see here. All right, so you'll share your screen with me and I'll um, text you the yeah. answers. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh. I, I just have a question. Um, out of all the online yes. academic experts online, what makes you decide to go with me with my services? Uh, I saw you guys through. Um, well, I was going through a, to a few, and I saw you on. Um, what's the name of that? Uh, Reddit. And then I went to did a little research and I saw you on YouTube. So that was but it was Reddit that that got me to uh, contact you. OK, well, I'm glad that you feel um, trusting me to help you with your exam. Oh, I said I feel I'm glad oh, yeah, you trust me enough to help you with your exam. I'm sure I can help you get the grade that you were looking for. Yeah. OK. All right. Let me see here. Would you like to see some uh, previous questions? Yeah, that'll help. Okay. I'm sorry, do you have difficulty hearing me? No, I can hear you. There's just some things going on in the back. Oh, okay. Oh, my.
Okay, here we go. All right. Thank you for your patience. Okay. No problem. Can you see it? Yeah, I see your screen. Okay. Yeah, that real VNC thing couldn't wasn't working for me. I don't know what, what happened with that one. Okay. All right. No yeah. problem. Here's previous questions that we did. Okay. This seems real simple. Yeah, it's uh, it's elementary statistics. Okay, I have a master's degree in, in statistics, so um, this should be pretty easy for me. And I've done a lot of my stat lab and my lab statistics exams and homework assignments for other students. Okay. So I get the feeling we should get a really high score on this exam. All right. You need to see another or if you hold on, let me show you the next one just to make sure uh, yeah just one more this is um go up to the fifth and they usually get harder all right just to reiterate are you in um a two-year college or a four-year college i'm in two year two year okay so then this should be fairly simple mm -hmm. yeah uh, all right this seems like a simple question all right Okay, you can, we can start the exam now. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, hold on, let me make sure. Five minutes. Yeah. We should probably finish faster, but. Let's yeah, yeah, ahead. absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. All right, I'm ready. All right. All right. Okay, let me see. Let me just get my calculator. All right, so let's see here. All right, 12 trials, the probability is 0 0.45, and the x value is four or less. We round to four decimal places. Uh, okay, type in 0 0.30, Four four. Okay, that's it. Move on to question two. All right, normal population, normally distributed. Uh, let's see here. Which indicates plus normally distributed? Okay. Uh, let me check my notes. Uh. Distributed. Okay, normal probability plots. All right, I think I know the answer, but I just want to um, check yeah, no um, my notes just to make sure I got it correctly.
Okay. I'll probably lost for three to do. Okay. Um, almost there, just checking through my records. Okay, um, while I'm checking on that, can we move on to question three, then we'll go back to question two? Not a problem. All right. Okay, perfect. Um, okay, 19, 22, 22, 33, 96, okay. All right, for A, at for x equals 4px, write um, 0 0.1979. Okay, below that, write 0 0.2292. Perfect. Below that, write 0 0.2292 again. And then the last one there, 0 0.3438. Okay, then uh, let's see here. Uh, select B for the graph. Okay, interpret the mean of the, okay, the mean. Let me just compute that really quickly. Okay, for C type in 25.2. Okay, um, click on option A and write 25.2 in the space. Okay, D, okay, I'm gonna have to take time to compute that. Uh, just give me a couple of minutes. Okay. Waiting for my software to load. Mm -hmm. Okay, four, five, six, seven. Okay, come on, load. Four, five, six, seven. Okay. It's 
zero point nineteen over ninety six. Okay. Twenty two over ninety six. Twenty two over ninety six and thirty three over ninety six. Okay. I apologize for the delay. My um, online software for statistics is taking a while to load. Um, yeah, not, not, not. It should be any second now. And I'll okay. have the answer. Uh, come on. Okay, what's going on? Sorry. Okay, let's see here. Oh, come on, I... Okay, sorry. Uh, okay, four, five, six, seven. Okay, 19 over 96. Okay, 22 over 96. Okay, it look it looks like it um shut down after retyping the information. This should take like hopefully one more minute. Um, okay. Standard deviation. Find the approximate solution. One. Okay. Um, okay, while that's um, loading, let's go to, um, hold on, que the next question, and I'll come back to that later. Okay. Oh, sorry, okay. What is the name given to normal distribution? One? Okay, it's C, standard normal. Okay. Um, find the mean and standard deviation. Okay. The mean is 79. Okay. And standard deviation of size 64. So that's 16 divided by the square root of 64 is 2. So therefore it is um, A for number 5. Okay. Um, twenty percent baby boomers, twenty-three or fewer of those individuals took a cruise in the last few years. Okay, this is a binomial probability question. So there is seventy-five total. The probability is twenty-eight percent, and the probability is twenty-three or less. Okay, zero point seven four. Oh wait, hold on. Uh, I got. My answer is not um, part of the one here. Uh, hmm, it's close to one of them. Let me let me double check. Twenty percent. Took twenty-three or fewer. Took okay. 
Okay, it's 75, 0 0.28, x value is 23, Okay, that is odd. Um, let's see, 22. Okay, 24. Interesting. Okay, let me try another method. Um, 23.5, 0 0.28 times 75, square root of 0 0.28 times 1 minus 0 0.28 times 75. Okay, the closest answer I'm getting is A. Uh, yeah, like A. All right, um, is number of people in, with type A blood? Okay, number of people with type A blood. Uh, it is, um, C for A can take discrete since it can, can be counted, and B is um, D continuous since it can't be counted accurately. Okay. Moving um, on. Okay, let's be here. All right, um, the expected value. Okay, I'm going to type in my calculator here. All right, um, okay. 170, 100. Okay, 300 times 0 0.999, 544, plus negative 170,000 times um, 1 minus 0 0.999, 544, okay. All right, and Okay, let me just double, I think I got an answer, let me just double check. Um, okay, for the expected value is 222.34. Okay, and the answer to the bottom part there is on uh, the, the company is supposed to make a profit of on every. Let's see, one year. Okay, it's A, and the answer is the same as above, 222.34. Okay. Oh, uh, 222? Two, two, two? Yeah, 222.34. Two, 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 okay, can we go back to number two? It um, My software loaded. Okay. Was it three? I think it was for channel three. Oh, sorry, yeah, question three. Okay, um, the answer to D is 1.1. 1. 1. All right. Uh, can we also go back to number one again? Mm-hmm. Oh, wait, sorry, number two. Oh, yeah, you're right. It was number two. All right, sorry about that. Normal, okay. I, let me see if I can try just to take a little bit more time with this. I think I'm going to like see if I can Google this a bit just so I can look okay. in perspective. Yeah. Do you want me to go on? Or? Uh, oh, no, you can keep it on. Um, okay. This should be fairly quick. No, no, take your time, take your time because I, you know. All right. Um, You're much more proficient than I am, so time wise, you know. Yeah. 
Okay. All right. Then uh, plot C, based on my expertise. Okay. Okay. Then we can Thank continue you. to the next question. Yeah. All right. Okay. So let's um, determine if it's a binomial experiment. Simulant trials, number of success is P. Okay. 11 stocks, that's N. And um, probably 46. The number of stocks that increase in value is, in, is recorded. Hmm. Okay. So the probably probably increase in value. Okay, the answer is A, yes, and N is 11, and P is 0 0.46. Okay, let me analyze this. I'll get a lot of options here. Can we analyze okay. this question? Determine whether the following graph can represent a normal curve. Hmm. My instincts were telling me no, judging by the way it looks. But let me just see what the reasons for that would be. I thought a normal curve was a normal distribution was like a bell-shaped curve. It is, but the fact that it's underneath the horizontal line makes me think that it's not, because it's supposed to be above it, I believe. Um, okay. So let me just read through the options here. Um, no, because the graph is not always greater than or equal to zero. Mm -hmm. No, okay, no, because that's... No, okay. They want us to select all that apply. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I believe it's H, but I want to do a little bit more research online about this problem. Okay. Wait. Yeah, because of that. Wait. Uh, okay. Um, the answer is C. I'm positive now. And I think that's the only option. All right. Okay. We can move on. Okay. Oh boy. Let me just um, check. Let me just put. All right. Let me just type in all the values here into my calculator. Uh, just give me like about a minute or two, and then okay. I can start answering the questions. Okay, no problem. All right. All right, absolutely. Two, three, four, five, okay, 0 0.1661, 0 0.3355, 0 0.2854. 0 0.1489, 0 0.0383, 0 0.0258. Let me double check I wrote all this in my calculator correctly. 3355, 2854, 1489, 0 0.3083, okay, 02. 
five eight. Okay, and the x values are zero one two three four five. All right. Okay, let's see if this works. Okay. Um, for A, this is a discrete probability distribution because um, all the probabilities are between 0 and 1. I didn't understand that. And then the next one's 1, inclusive. And the sum of the probabilities is 1. Okay. And for B, the graph is, let me see here, one, three, two, one, two. Uh, graph B is correct. Mm -hmm. The distribution, uh, let's see here, is, um, is, um, has one mode. And is skewed right. Okay. The mean is one point six three five. Okay. Which the following interpretation of the mean is correct. Um uh, over the course of me. Do you mean there? Okay. Um, C is the correct answer. Okay. And the standard deviation is um, 1.184. Okay. What is the probability that in a random selected game, the player got two hits is uh, 0.2854. Okay. Probably that the player got more than one hit. Okay. Let me do a little calculation. 10.3355. Okay. It's 0. 4984. Okay, that's it. All right. Uh, okay, for A, greater than 16.7. Okay, I'm putting my calculator 14.4, standard deviation 1.1. All right. All right. For A is zero point zero one eight three. Okay. And uh, let's see here. For B. Okay. One one nineteen men. Men have a hip mean hip. 6.7. Hmm, that's odd. Okay, uh, let's see here. Okay, I'm getting zero for B, so you can just type in zero. Mm -hmm. All right, okay. So for C, which results should we consider for any change? Oh, hold on. So it's zero, but so I need to put four decimal place, 0. 0.000. Oh, in my experience, zero should be fine. Um, but you can, yeah, either way it should be fine. Just to, just to make sure. All right. Cause it does ask for it. And I have, yeah. I got caught up before on a couple of questions. Huh? One second, please. Okay. No problem.
Sorry about that. No problem. Okay, number C. All right. Um, deep line. Okay, I believe it's the result from part A. Mm hmm Okay, because um, the seats are occupied by individuals rather than means. The first one. All right. Okay, we can move on. Okay. Should be a fairly simple problem. Um, okay. Less than 79 beats per minute. Okay. I put in my calculator. The mean is 76. The standard deviation is 12.5. And it's just one adult female. Okay. For A is 0 0.59 for eight. Okay, now for B, um, okay, same problem, but this time it's for women. Okay, less than 79. Okay, 0 0.6844. All right, why can normal distribution be used in B even the same size in X30? Um, let's see here. Since the original population, D. Okay. Okay, this one's simple. Um, 628 divided by 800. Uh, B is the correct answer. Okay. Okay, this one's also simple. Um, C to 65. Okay, um, 64. And the standard deviation is 4.5. And there are 81 golfers. Okay. Uh, C is the correct answer for number 15. Okay. What are two requirements for the sweet probability distribution? Um, A is definitely one of them. And uh, B. Okay, let me just double check for C and D. Okay, great. Moving on. We're going to find the value of mu and sigma. Okay, so let's see. 97 is mu mm -hmm. and sigma, 106 minus 97, that's 9. Okay, uh, B is the correct answer. Okay. All right, the mean, 350 adults, and the, statistic, and the probability is 68. Okay. Um, so the mean of X is 238. Okay. And the standard deviation, let me just quickly calculate that. Okay, it's 8.7. Okay, interpret the mean. For every, okay, probably the overall analysis is four. To mean is, uh, okay, not D, not C. Okay, B is the correct answer for B. Would it be unusual for if 247? Okay, 247, let's see here. All right. All 
All right, let me just double check here. All right, 350, 0 0.68 for probability, and x by 247. Uh, C will be yes. It will be unusual since it's below 5%. Okay. All right, this should be fairly simple. Um, 1100, 1225. The mean is 1050. Standard deviation is 218. Okay, and it's just for one home. 0.982. A will be the answer. Okay. On what conditions can the sample be treated as value for a population having normal distribution? Uh, okay. Uh, B will be one of them. And fuck. Sweet sample of group. Wait, a research collects a sample random sample group. Oh, sorry, not B. Um, A instead. Mm -hmm. And uh, D. Okay. Okay, another lengthy problem. Yeah. Okay. Um, this, I just need about a couple of minutes to type the calculator. Two eight zero four five eight nine. Four three five four eleven nine zero one. Let me double check this all correct. Two eight zero four eight five four three five four eleven nine zero. All right. Um, okay. One, two, three, four, five. Twenty five, seven, eight, three, two, oh, fifty nine. Okay, and just copy this. Four five eight nine four three five four and eleven nine oh one. Okay. Calculate. Two five seven eight three. Okay. Okay, I got it. Um, for one A for uh is zero point zero eight zero. Okay, the next one. For number two is 0 0.112. Okay, next is 0 0.178. Then the next one is 0 0.169. Then number five is 0 0.462. All right, and let's see here for the graphs. Uh, hmm. Two zero two five four. Um, A is the correct graph. Okay, the mean 
is okay 3.8 all right and which the following interpretations it mean is correct um d is the correct option all right standard deviation is 1.3 Okay. Question 22. Okay, this is fairly simple. Um, just need about a minute to type all this in. 0 0.17 plus 0 0.42 plus 0 0.23. Okay, P4 is 0 0.23. Let me Let's come to my office. Zero point two three. That's it. Yeah. Oh geez, another one of these. Okay. Um just need a minute to type all this in. Okay. Um four, five, six, seven, eighteen, twenty one, twenty one, thirty six. Okay, 96, huh, for some reason I think we did pretty much almost this exact same problem before, even the numbers are similar, but uh, whatever, okay, um, okay, 18, 96, 21 over 96, 21 over 96, 36 over 96. Okay, mean, standard deviation, which one, how can I? All right, okay, for um, A, X equals, for number four, it is, PX is, um, 0 0.1875. Okay, 5 will be 0 0.2188. 2188? Yeah, 2188. 6 is also 2188, uh, 0.2188. And 7 is 0 0.3750. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Um, 0 0.1, 0 point, 0 point one, two. Okay, uh, let's see here. 0 0.18, 22. I think C is the correct graph. Yeah. Yeah, C is the correct graph. Five, yeah. Okay. The mean is 5.8. Okay. And um, let's see. Uh, option B. And then you type in 5.8. Okay. And the standard deviation is 1.1. Okay, finally something easy. Okay, this one should be simple. Um, 0 0.184. Okay, uh, negative 0 0.90. Negative point, who was that? 0 0.90. Zero point. Um, at least I think it's negative. Let me just double check to make sure that's correct. Um, okay. I mean, I'm gonna have to get some of these wrong. So. Oh, 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 don't, don't oh, please don't get them wrong on purpose. I'm very certain that at least a few problems, I might have made some calculation oh. mistakes. So I think- you Okay, okay, no problem, no problem, got it. Yeah. Uh, 
let's see here. Okay, um, it's actually positive 0 0.90. All right, great, last question. Please be simple. Oh, good. Okay, 32% um, of, okay, seventeen estrogen P. All right. Um, 32%, okay, that's P. Random samples, 500. So I was saying, it's going to portion. No more than. Uh, hmm. Okay, 0 0.32 times 500. That's 160. Okay. And P, okay. Uh, 0 0.32 times 0 0.68 divided by 500. Hmm. Okay. Uh, I think C might be the answer, but let me just double check. Uh, all right. That's the same thing. Distribution of according to a study conducted on the city Okay, it's actually D. All right, um, now you can submit the test. Yes. All right. All right, man. Perfect. How do we do this, Zell? Okay, um, I'll email you my uh, Zell information, and then um, you can send the payment there. Okay. Right. No problem. Nine point six nine. So. B plus yeah. A minus borderline. All right. Uh, this is why I mentioned about like me getting um, some calculation mistakes wrong. So that's why yeah. I didn't want to like intentionally get some stuff wrong. Yeah, yeah. No, this will work. This will work. This okay. is this is this is about ten, about ten points over my range. So it's not strange. Okay, great. I'm glad you're satisfied with the score. Uh, absolutely. I have um, I have two more. Uh, not today, but I mean coming down the line. I'll be contacting you. Um, and so what's, what's my fee today? Uh, the fee for today, let me just double check what I wrote. Uh, hold on. Uh, let's see here, what did I write? Uh, it'll be 190. Okay, so um, my Zell is math class expert at gmail.